My name is Matilda and I'm on the worship and kids team here. As a church, we want to be intentional in taking this time to grow our faith by building good habits, fasting, and connecting to people. We're going to walk through the seven things Jesus said on the cross. Today, we look at the first one, forgiveness. In Luke 23, Jesus was nailed to the cross because he rejected the ways of society. Most importantly, he claimed that he was king, which is someone who's appointed or royalty runs through their bloodline, not Jesus. Jesus to them was a leader of rebellion. And so the crowd yelled, crucify him. And Jesus was nailed to the cross, crucified amongst criminals and betrayed. In Luke chapter 23, verse 34, Jesus states, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. So out of everything that happened to him, being accused of being rebellious, being betrayed by the crowd, nailed to the cross, and put amongst criminals, Jesus asks for forgiveness for our sins. What a powerful moment. Jesus did have the spirit of God in him, but he was still human. He did not let the flesh part get to him. Through all of his misfortunes, he still looked to God for our forgiveness. Even more, in the process, he is forgiving them. He shows no anger or hatred, just compassion. In reading this chapter, I felt like this was very powerful because it is, because it is very hard to be Christ-like and it's very hard to forgive. We can do it with God's help and because God forgave us and is still forgiving us. A time I struggled with forgiveness was when I was younger. I used to criticize my parents for their past mistakes and judge them. I became very angry with them and I was never open about my anger, but my attitude towards them was very bitter and they would wonder what the problem was, but I never spoke up again about it. But I did talk to God and I asked him, um, why weren't they millionaires? Or why didn't they do this right? Or why did they didn't work this hard? Or I just wanted to have a different life. But as I continued to pray, I noticed how hard my parents worked for me. And I had a change of heart and realized they are human like me and imperfect like me. I realized that I needed to forgive them just as God forgives me and love and loves me through all of my shortcomings. Today, God keeps forgiving us through all of our shortcomings, through all of our downfalls and through all of our sin. So as a church, I would like for us to pray so that we can also forgive others just like God forgives us all the time. God, thank you for bringing us here. Thank you for setting us on a path to create more disciples. And in our process, let us remember to forgive people who don't follow you, forgive people who, who aren't against you, and forgive people who try to persecute us because we ourselves are not perfect and we judge those and we judge others all the time and we like to just forget that we ourselves are human even though we have your spirit in us. So God, help us to actually remember our flesh and be able to forgive those and to continuously forgive and be patient with others as we go along this journey and go on with discipling. In Jesus' name, amen.